What's up guys, it's Joe Corchy here. Welcome back to JGB's YouTube channel, the YouTube channel for songwriters, producers, and anyone aspiring to get into making music. I wanted to make this video today to give you a quick pro producing tip, which I don't see enough people using in their mixes, but it is something that if you use it, not only does it sound really impressive in mixes, but it's just such a good way to develop your rhythmic side of your productions. And once you learn it, you will be using it all the time. Now, the technique I am talking about is side chaining your compressor, more specifically today in Logic Pro X. I'm going to give you this quick tutorial today on how to set it up, how to use it, then hopefully by the time this video is over, you will be wanting to use this all the time on your own productions. Before we do get into this video, it would mean the world if you could hit that subscribe button to support the channel if you enjoy videos like these. And don't forget to turn that notification bell on as it is the as it's the best way to keep up with new content on the channel when I do videos like this as well, when they upload in so you know when they drop. But yeah, with all that aside, let's get into this tutorial. Okay, so I am now in Logic. We have a drum kit, which I've just put in. I put it to one 65 and done quite a generic drum beat like this for the purpose of this video the kick is something that is really good to side chaining a compressor to for creating that rhythmic effect now when you do your side chain you're always going to want to side chain it to something which is a consistent rhythmic quality in a song that's why drums are so good for this now i have uploaded dream voice we're just going to play in uh, some chords uh, on this it's going to be nothing fancy at all There you go, I quickly quantized it because we're perfectionists like that. Okay, so let's listen to it now. It doesn't sound like anything special. We're gonna take it up a level right now using this technique. So we're gonna open our mix window. We are gonna go and just open Logic Standard Compressor. We're gonna use the Platinum Digital, the cleanest compressor in my opinion you could get your hands on when it comes to Logic users, even with third party plugins. Again, like in the title, the compressor is what we're gonna do in the side chaining too. Now, for the purpose of this video, we're gonna side chain this to the kick. So how this is gonna work is we are gonna side chain the kick to this compressor. So the compressor will only trigger when the kick sends a signal to the compressor. So every time the kick plays, the compressor is gonna kick into action. And then doing this will then affect the dynamics of the sound that this compressor is going through when the kick is triggered. I could give you a technical aspect for what that achieves, but I'd rather just show you. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna side chain, go to instrument and we're gonna use the kick one from the analog circuits because that is the kick that has been played. And we're just gonna play. As you can see, when the kick plays, the compressor is then triggering on the Dream Voice channel. Now, most of the time, if you very lightly sidechain the compressor, this is gonna create a bit of a throbbing sensation on the pad, which you may have heard. I'll quickly play that again so you can have a listen. I don't know if you heard that, but the pad was definitely throbbing when the kick triggers in. This is the sort of effect which goes really well on the dance track on the main output. So if you were to put it on the main stereo output track, everything, pads, vocals, everything would throb when the kick triggers the compressor. Now, the reason why this is so cool is because it adds such a um, rhythmic stamp to the song and you can really feel. And all of a sudden the song is driven by the percussive elements, which for dance music is perfect. But with the pad, what we're going to do now is we're going to extremely apply this compressor to the pad now to try and make this into something completely different. I've now turned up the threshold to minus 30, the ratio is up to eight and I've done the attack on hard so we really get that compressor triggering in. All right, let's listen to see what it sounds like. Okay, so let's see what it sounds like. And all of a sudden your pad now has a rhythmic element to it. What if we were to side chain it maybe to the snare drum this time? What would that sound like? Again, if we want to uh, have something which is playing a lot more persistently, let's put the hi-hats in. What does that sound like? <laughs> Contributing to the percussive elements of your productions. Now you can use this on all sorts of things. You can use this on reverbs and side chain it to the vocal. This was a very basic demo of side chaining, but there's, the possibilities are absolutely endless. You could side chain a compressor on a reverb bus to the vocal so when the vocal's singing, the reverb doesn't kick in, um, but when the vocal then times out, the reverb then 
uh, comes forward in the mix. That is a very advanced technique, which I will show you in another video. But yeah, guys, this is the tutorial for side chaining compressors in Logic. Again, get into Logic, side chain different instruments to different instruments as well. Don't just limit yourself to the drums. I highly recommend. Again, I always encourage experimentation in productions, and there is no more so the case than with this technique that I've showed you here today. But yeah, guys, if you made it as far in this video, hit that subscribe button because you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to turn that notification bell on as well. So you're always the first to know when new videos like this drop. I hope you enjoyed this video. Keep making music and I will see you in the next video.